Jeremy Clark from Queen City Signature here to bring to you our sixth and final episode in the sauna series video series and today we're going to talk about chromotherapy. Chromotherapy is just a fancy way of saying light therapy. Um, sometimes you'll see it referred to as photobiomodulation um, and it's something that's uh, starting to get a little bit of attention. It's a little bit on the fringes as far as the science goes but it's actually um, it's been in, in use since ancient times kind of fell out, it was uh, actually pretty prominent in the, uh, the 18th century and then sort of fell out of prominence with the pharmaceutical age. Uh, mankind sort of developed these, um, these smart bombs where they you can use um, chemicals, we've developed these chemicals known as pharmaceuticals that uh, can treat a lot of maladies. But the problem with the pharmaceuticals is often they come with these unintended consequences. We call them side effects. Um, whereas something like light therapy, while it is a lot more subtle, than say a pharmaceutical, it's a uh, it's a lot safer. Um, the the thing about uh, light and light therapy in general is uh, the science is rooted in natural sunlight. Uh, sunlight is actually on the electromagnetic uh, spectrum that we talked about in episode two. So you have your your UV uh, light, which is invisible, our visible spectrum, and then our infrared spectrum. Um, so with the use of the chromotherapy module within this part, uh, or the, I'm sorry, the full spectrum infrared sauna, you've got the visible and the infrared spectrums that you're being exposed to without the harmful UV rays. Um, now that being said, the, the ideal uh, would be uh, a walk outside in natural sunlight, so you get all of these things. Um, but uh, you don't want more than um, you know, 30, 45 minutes in natural sunlight because of these harmful UV rays. So the UV spectrum, uh, the wavelengths are between three and 400 uh, nanometers. Your visible light spectrum is, uh, is a small band between 400 and 700, and then your infrared spectrum, back into the invisible, is between 700 and 1,000 nanometers. This, the 600 to 900 band um, is known as the therapeutic window. It's where um, these frequencies are known to stimulate what is called ATP. Each one of our cells has um, have these proteins called mitochondria. The mitochondria are known as the power plants. That's, that's what does the work to produce the cellular energy. Um, so the mitochondria will initiate what they call a Krebs cycle that um, produces ATP. ATP is the gas in your tank. Um, and so this, this therapeutic window, these wavelengths between six and 900 nanometers stimulate these mitochondria to produce this ATP. So it's, um, it's a really great thing um, to, uh, to expose yourself uh, to these wavelengths, these, these light wind wavelengths. And the thing is, the hormonal effects of light have been known forever. Um, and you know them, whether you know it or not. Uh, early morning sunlight, you start your day and uh, you have your morning coffee on the, on the back porch uh, in the sun and the feeling that you get from that, the way that it starts your day. That actually, you're taking in the, these light um, frequencies and it actually sets your circadian rhythm. It actually sets the tone for your whole day and then your sleep later that night. Um, on the other side, you're starting to hear a lot about um, turning off screens at least an hour and a half before bed, or limiting your blue light exposure through indoor lighting, uh, things like that. The, these are words that we're hearing pretty common um, you know, in society, and it's because we're realizing that this exposure to this blue light, these indoor LED lights, uh, say at uh, you know, 10, 11 o'clock at night, are actually disrupting our sleep cycles. So the hormonal effects of light um, have been known and are widely accepted uh, now. The thing is, like, can, our body is constantly producing these chemical reactions. These chemical reactions produce energy. That energy can be manipulated by exposure to electromagnetic frequencies. That's just a sciencey way of saying that if we are exposing ourselves to different frequencies of light, it can have different effects on our body's um, functions, our cellular functions. So while the effects are a lot more subtle, than say a pharmaceutical or radiation, something like that. They, it has been shown to be effective uh, through, through consistent use. Uh, to wrap up this sauna series, I, I want to sort of stress that whether it's the, the light therapy module, whether it's the, uh, the use of the infrared um, heat or, or you know, light that we feel as heat, um, any of these things, uh, these are small rocks. The big rocks are 
You know, what are we eating? How are we sleeping? Um, what, how are we moving our bodies? Those, those are the big rocks. Those are going to make the most difference in your health and wellness. Um, but that being said, if, you, um, if you, you've got those fairly dialed in and you're looking for ways to boost um, and improve or target different aspects um, of your health journey, things like infrared sauna are, are a godsend. Uh, things like light therapy are, are incredible. Um, but it's important to make sure you, you move those big rocks first. I don't want to give the impression that, that you can uh, walk into Queen City Signature uh, with a pizza in each hand um, you know, and, and a two liter of soda and then just say I'm going to climb into the sauna and, and solve all my, all my digestive issues and, and, and problems that come from that. That's not the case. But if you get your big rocks taken care of for the most part, and I try to uh, adhere to the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of the time I'm dialed in, 20% of the time do as I say, not as I do. Um, but, uh, but the big rocks are, are where it's really important. So I really want to encourage you um, as you go on your health and wellness journey, we're here for you um, with whatever we can do um, to make your day a little bit better, to, to make your, your life a little more uh, energetic and, and fulfilling. If there's anything that we can do, we, we are here to serve and we, love, we want to do just that. Hope you're having a great day. We can't wait to see you. And uh, we're here at 1323 Wabash here in Terre Haute. Come see us and uh, let's get going.